know, it's really nice what uh, Forza has done with the whole Forza Vista stuff. But anyways, this isn't about the Forza Vista. This is about the um, achievements. First time for 15 gamer score. Win a race in a 19... 66 McLaren M2B in free play with 24 cars. Now that may sound like a mouthful, but I interpret I interpret it quite literally. Win a race in the car. That's all it's asking. Here it is. 1966 M2B. Now I'm kind of speaking like Obama. Let's put that aside. So you can see it's not the most powerful thing. 300 horsepower. But as it said in the uh, Forza Vista, it is only 1,100 pounds, so quite light, um, not very much torque either. It is 1.2 mil, so if you want to drop the bomb on it, go ahead and do that. I have done so myself. So just a couple quick tips from the pro. Um, uh, you want to keep the McLaren M2B stock if you own it. Now if you don't own it, that is completely fine, the stock tune will go great, but uh, the tuning you're going to want to do is on screen, lower the tire pressure just a bit make the gearing somewhat like that and um, do not upgrade it or you will go against R class cars and that is terrible you'll be versus like Venom GTs like in Hypersports not gonna happen but anyways let's let's go back to the video Okay, so back to the voiceover. Anyways, I skipped the loading screen for you, but um, essentially what is going to happen is you can see the power and ex the powertrain expert mod thingy over there. What that is doing is taking away weight and adding power. I believe I, I'm pretty sure that what it is. That's what it is. Since this thing stock has like two hundred three, I think three hundred horsepower on the dot. Um, you want to use the power mod. It will uh, let you much harder than all of your opponents, much better power to weight ratio. I suggest having rewind on because, you know, I'm a, I'm a derp and I just failed horribly and probably cut that out of the video. Anyways, you want to have rewind on, don't worry about making money or anything, um, no collisions because when you get off the start you are going to just launch, leave everybody else in the dust, and if you uh, keep on running into them and there's wrecks and stuff, that's annoying. But um, you can see in the beginning we had the rolling start that lets you get a little better traction so you don't have to worry about like doing burnouts for the whole race off the line also another thing you can do is take this little uh, service road thing on the side that will let you just absolutely fly in front of the rest you can see there's a conig zeg right behind me uh, I mean I'm I've got way way less horsepower than that thing but um that's pretty much the only tip I can give I wouldn't suggest taking this one though uh, cause it is a little, you know, it's, it's not really angled and you might slide a lot, but whatever. Uh, rewind, and one lap. If you want to do more than one lap, go ahead, but I suggest doing one lap so you can get it out of the way. The achievement should be on your screen right about now. Editing magic, you can see it. Rewind, it's very useful cause that was the last corner. Can you imagine if I wrecked, I have to do the whole, like, 48 second race again. But, um, anyways, a very easy achievement. Hope you enjoyed. Be sure to check out the playlist with many more achievements. Uh, this is my first video, so still kind of getting used to it. But uh, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Will it pop? There it is, right there. First time. M2B. Hope you enjoyed. I said that like 50 times. Peace.